Please sit down. Thank you. Yesterday, in my view, one of the darkest days in the history of our nation. An unprecedented assault on our democracy. An assault literally on the citadel of liberty in the United States Capitol itself. An assault on the rule of law. An assault on the most sacred of American undertakings, ratifying the will of the people in choosing the leadership of their government. All of us here grieve the loss of life, grieve the desecration of the people's house. But we, what we witnessed yesterday was not dissent, it was not disorder, it was not protest, it was chaos. They weren't protesters. Don't dare call them protesters. They were a riotous mob, insurrectionists, domestic terrorists. It's that basic, it's that simple. And I wish we could say we couldn't see it coming. But that isn't true. We could see it coming. The past four years, we've had a president who's made his contempt for our democracy, our Constitution, the rule of law, clear in everything he has done. He unleashed an all-out assault on our institutions of our democracy from the outset. And yesterday was but the culmination of that unrelenting attack. He's attacked the free press, who dared to question his power, repeatedly calling the free press the enemy of the people. Language, at the time he first used it, I and others said, has long been used by autocrats and dictators all over the world to hold on to power, the enemy of the people. Language that is being used now by autocrats and dictators across the world, only this time with the imperator of an outgoing President of the United States of America. He's attacked our intelligence services who dared tell the American people the truth about the effort of a foreign power to elect him four years ago, choosing instead to believe the word of Vladimir Putin over the word of those who've sworn their allegiance <coughs> to this nation, many of whom had risked their lives in the service of this nation. He deployed the United States military tear-gassing peaceful protesters in pursuit of a photo opportunity in the service of his re-election, even holding the Bible upside down. The action that led to an apology from the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and an outspoken denunciation of the use of military for domestic political purposes from scores, scores of former military leaders and Secretaries of Defense, led by Secretary Cheney. He thought he could stack the courts with friendly judges who would support him no matter what. They were Trump judges, his judges. He went so far as to say he needed nine justices on the Supreme Court because, because he thought the election would end up in the Supreme Court and they would hand him the election. He was stunned truly stunned when the judges he appointed didn't do his bidding, instead acted with integrity, following the Constitution, upholding the rule of law. Instead, to believe the word of Vladimir Putin over the word of those who've sworn their allegiance to this nation.